What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I'm showing you something that's not a WordPress plugin, unfortunately. It's an email capturing, pop up, lead generating platform. And it's free and it's pretty darn amazing. It's called Beacon. You can get it at beacon.by, beacon by. And I think the perfect use case, if this is you out there and you're going, man, I, I want to do email marketing. I want to do lead capture. I want to do, uh, you know, lead magnets and all this stuff. But the software that's out there is pretty complex. I have to make an investment, not only in the money that I have to shell out every month, but just thinking about creating a document, you know, how am I going to make it look good? If that's you and you're worried about all that stuff, I think that's where beacon.by really slides in because it's free, it's powerful, it's very easy to use. Now on the free plan, you're not gonna get all of the awesome things that the paid plans have, so let's just dive right into that. You're not gonna get things like a downloadable PDF. Uh, you're not gonna get all of the templates that they have. You're not gonna get email integration into like MailChimp, but, but it's still amazingly powerful. And for somebody who's just starting out that doesn't want all that complex overhead of like thinking about automation and design and all this stuff, Beacon hits the nail on the head. I'm going to show you why. Uh, the other thing is, is I used it, I used their WordPress plugin. Speaking of plugins, this is a plugin channel and it didn't really work and, and that's okay. And maybe they're working on something that will fix that. But what I really love about Beacon is its simplicity and I can integrate this stuff into my WordPress posts by just using a single line of code. I'm gonna show you that in this walkthrough. <clears throat> so I made a lead capture uh, for, uh, or a lead magnet I should say, for my local podcast channel of southcoast.fm. I'm just toying with it right now. This is not a complete uh, lead magnet yet, but how to start a small business podcast. And one of the things I love, let's go ahead and, and look at this. One of the things that I love about Beacon is it makes it super easy. So here's all the pages in this PDF that is already predefined for me. The layout's already done. Uh, they have some other amazing templates that you can play with in the, in the free version. But I can go in and drop in new headlines. I can drop in new buttons. Like this is so dead simple and it's a beautifully designed user interface. I can go ahead and I can design all of this stuff. Um, I can do background colors, padding, margins, all of the stuff that you would normally do in some kind of like publisher platform, you can do it right in here. And I would even argue that it's easier than some of these gigantic platforms that are out there like a MailChimp, a ConvertKit or what have you. So once you go ahead and you can design your, uh, your PDF, and one thing actually I should say, let me go back to the home, home base because I think uh, one thing that you'll, most of you will really appreciate. So once we get back to this home page here, I'm just gonna hit create new lead magnet. Just wanna show you something uh, super quick. I'm gonna make an ebook and here's what's really cool. I can import this from a simple blog post. So if I pull up southcoast.fm, which is my local podcast, I go to this page. 11 tips for starting a podcast. I copy that link. I paste it in. I hit import. It's going to say this is the one you want. I get to choose. I'm just going to pick this one. Starting a podcast. Create the lead magnet. And it's not perfect, but it just made it a whole new page right out of that post. Imported all the content. Uh, with some of the formatting, like the headlines, uh, some of the links that I have in this post. And I can kind of just manipulate this right inside their uh, lead magnet builder. So just like so darn powerful. It's like really cool how easy that is. And for somebody who doesn't want to deal with all of the overhead of building lead magnets and working with sites and all that stuff, it's, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this other one that I started before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And when I go to publish a lead magnet, uh, I have a couple options. Uh, downloadable PDF, which you can't do in the free version. It's going to tell you that. So if I click on download PDF, uh, it says to upgrade the account. But if I go back to publish, I can do a few other things. I can do a smart PDF, which just gives you some like shareable options, right? It's going to give you this uh, unique URL that you can just send to somebody and you can preview uh, the PDF in your browser. So this is what it looks like here. And I can kind of scroll through it. I can see the buttons that I've added, kind of play with it there. Um, when you're on the free plan, you'll notice that it has a little uh, using beacon icon in the bottom right hand corner for their branding. 
Uh, the trade-off is you're using the stuff for free. And you can kind of come in and uh, disable some of their social f sharing features. If you wanted to throw in a Google Analytics ID so that you could actually track the performance of it or any other third-party script, like maybe a Facebook pixel thing, um, it's pretty darn powerful, right? You can start to build your audience without having to fork over any money and do it in an elegant way. Hit publish again. Uh, this is where uh, the rubber really hits the road here is the lead capture. So there's a video that'll show you how to do this. But let's just call this plugin tut tutorial. And I'm going to select this one. This is the, uh, the lead magnet that we were just looking at. And now I'm presented with five options to um, select a different kind of opt-in. So I can do a content upgrade opt-in, an inline form, a pop-up delay, horizontal bar, or a link lock. I like content upgrades, and you can preview this stuff. So if I hit preview, you can see as you scroll down here, uh, it shows it inline there. That's what it's going to look like. If I preview the inline form, it's just sort of a, a bigger form that somebody fills out in the middle of content. Uh, but let's just look at how beautiful this is. I'm going to hit select. And then I have more themes to choose from. Now, remember when it said it didn't come with all the templates uh, in the free version? There's a lot here that makes it look really good. I'm going to select the super basic one. I'm going to click this one. It's called Highlight. And then I have that same builder power uh, for the actual form, for the, for the content upgrade. And I can design it. I can change the button layouts. Like, this is really cool. I can change step two, what happens when actually somebody clicks on the content upgrade, and I can redesign how the pop-up looks and the, and the text in between it. I can modify on step three what the thank you message is. So that's really cool. Um, number four, this is one to really look out for uh, when I was testing it. Uh, if you just publish this, it's going to send email by Kevin from Beacon. And you, you, but you want to go in here and modify what that message says and how it's formatted, um, you know, right on step number four. And this is, oh, so number five is the uh, integrations. So if you are on a paid plan, you could get access to, to these providers. Um, but when we go to publish, and this is why I don't think the, the plugin is really a big deal, the WordPress plugin for this stuff, because it's just one snippet of script that we want to put into our WordPress site. And it does everything for us. So let's copy the script. I'm going to go over to my WordPress site. I'm going to go to my posts. I'm going to edit the post. And I'm using Gutenberg here, so I'm going to go ahead and add a block. I'm going to do custom HTML. And I'm going to paste in that snippet of code. And I'm going to preview it right in Gutenberg. And there's the content upgrade. Beautiful. Right there, super easy. So if I update this and preview this, We'll see what it looks like on the front end. Here it is. It needs a little bit of formatting. We could probably play with that in Beacon or within our WordPress theme. But when you click here, there's the pop-up. Super lightweight, super fast. And again, free. You're getting email captures for free. They're getting a link to a PDF. Uh, it doesn't integrate with MailChimp for free, but you get a, a downloadable uh, CSV list of, of emails. And this is step one, step zero of you getting yourself out there as a marketer. So super cool. Now you might say, well, if the plugin doesn't work, it's going to be complicated to make these lead captures throughout my entire WordPress site. Well, if you're using Gutenberg and you're finally starting to embrace it a little bit, we can drop this into reusable blocks within Gutenberg. So let's go ahead and click on this uh, edit icon for the, uh, for the block. We'll click on add to reusable blocks. We'll call this content upgrade. I'm going to call it content upgrade 2 because I was testing it before. So there it is, content upgrade 2. I'm going to update this post, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to all posts. I'm going to pull up another blog post, and I'll drop in it, drop it in right here. So let's say reusable. There's my content upgrade too. There's a little preview for it. I click it. It's in my content, and now I can make all. Of, I can make all of my uh, content upgrades on the Beacon service. And if I'm leveraging Gutenberg, I can save it as a reusable block. And as I'm writing content, I'm just dropping it in, right? Now, you could use that same snippet in sort of a widget area or a functions file where it's embedded somewhere else in the theme or your page builder. If you're using Beaver Builder and you're doing the, the, the themer uh, templating system, you can save that right in every footer of every single post. I mean, it's doable without a plugin. It's super awesome and super lightweight. Uh, and that's how you integrate it into WordPress. I've been really all about creating... Uh, 
WordPress sites that are super lightweight, just using Gutenberg and using just a handful of plugins at most. I really enjoy uh, building lightweight sites now and not trying to put so many features into the into WordPress and leveraging other platforms like this. So for free, you can create your lead magnets. You can create a whole bunch of lead capture points and pop-ups and content upgrades with Beacon. I don't know. Like, I love it. I think it's super lightweight and fun to use and easy to use. And that's the, that's the main thing here. No affiliate link. If you like it, try it out. Beacon.by. Plugintot.com, plugintot.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Share it with friends, family, colleagues, anybody who's in the WordPress space. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers on the channel, which is mind-boggling to me because I don't make that many videos. And, you know, hey, there's a lot of people out there. So I uh, really appreciate you following along. We'll see you in the next video.